Hello guys and welcome back to the channel or welcome to the channel if this is your first time here. Now you may be thinking well I'm more somber than usual and that's because I need to address the cancellation of season three of Our Flag Means Death. I am absolutely annihilated emotionally. I don't understand why they did it. With There's so many fans there. It supports so many communities and it's just an amazing show. If you guys would love to support trying to maybe revert the decisions that were made and just support the show, the cast, the crew, you guys as fans just coming together, then there's a petition down below and you can also check out Renew as a crew. I'm going to be chatting about this more and my thoughts on the cancellation right at the end of the video. Here's me introing it. Over to you, Pastor Marty. You are here, you're watching episodes one and two of season two. I cannot wait to bring you these. I know the last thing that we saw was Steed coming up on the boat towards the little island. Ed or Blackbeard has now gone back to being as he was, but he was crying. So I think it's just a front that he's putting on. If you'd like to check out the full reactions to these, you can check them out over on the Patreon page. And without further ado, let's watch episode one of Our Flag Means Death season two called Impossible Birds. Mm. I'm so used to starting with the HBO Max logo. So Steed's got a beard. Is he white? I've never obeyed you. Why is he for what? Ah! Selling us out to the English. Wait what? Is this a dream sequence? I never made you leave him. You did that yourself. No, is he? It's gotta be a it's gotta be a dream. It's weird at the beginning. Oh, love it. Where's it? Absolute. This seems very over. <laughs> this is very over This is a dream, isn't it? This. It's gorgeous shots, by the way, on the <laughs> with the music as well. Romantic but funny at the same time. <laughs> it's like the uh, opening to. Knew you'd find me, babe. Oh, it's got to be a dream sequence. You're not mad. <laughs> Knew you'd find me, love. We're good about this everything. Is, this is beautifully shot. I love the beard, mate. <laughs> I'm just trying something new. Kinda suits him a little. Ooh, bro. Oh, oh. Oh. No! Oh god! This is oh. in his dream. I'm so sorry! Yeah. <laughs> oh, it was. Christ! It was too perfect, but weird. And you shot at mine! Fart it on me! Oh. Oh. <laughs> it's all there. It's a wall of stench. Where are they? Why is it so egg oh egg on end? Shut up! Ed, oh Ed. Oh, he's done oh. it again! I can smell it through the screen. Oh, gotta love that. Dear Ed, the crew and I are safe. And th Don't fart anymore. As I've renounced my wealth, we've been forced to take up temporary residence on the Republic of Pirates. Fortunately, we've been able to work a few of Olawande's connections. We're looking for work and... I was going to say it's her, yeah. Maybe, maybe a place to sleep? Not the best person to ask. Um. Yeah. Who's Blondie? That's, that's the Swede. Yeah, the Swede. She's like, oh, hi. Come on over here, baby. <laughs> Don't be shy. She's like, I have a new pet. <laughs> Turn around from me. Okay. <laughs> yeah, my thoughts exactly. You guys can sleep in the cellar. Start work in 20 minutes. <laughs> Not you, not you. <laughs> you can stay with me. See you, mate. Thanks, Wig. <laughs> Scooch a little closer. Spanish jacket don't bite. He's going, help me. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Good evening. Welcome to Spanish Jackets. Reservation? Big bike. Right. Walkins, then. That's. <laughs> That's the reservation of a lifetime. Could say we're in a bit of a rebuilding phase as a crew. We've really come into our own as a team. How's that? <laughs> I didn't expect this at all. Morale is the highest it's ever been. Hit me with something hard, Olu. Drinks on on the house, no, no. Old bars, I love it. I'm happy to buy you a drink. Who's that? Richard Baines. My friends call me Ricky. You're Steed Bonnet. In some weird way, he looks like Steed, but like an older Steed. It's so weird. Oh, I've been called away. Excuse me. I'm getting away. I 
think of you. Yeah, because um, Blackbeard sailed away from him, didn't they? But he was crying. We're approaching the vessel, Captain. Hope you're thinking of me. Lovely tattoo, though. About the time we got to that no. ship. I know the odds of this finding you are slim. Unless he's there. I will find you, Ed. Throws it, it hits the ship that he's in. The natural condition of humanity is the obligation of people of standing to elevate the common human rabble through the sacred transaction of matrimony. If anyone objects to this union, speak now or forever hold is your it, peace. Is this going to be one that he's going to invade? Objection. What demon is this? Blackbeard. Demon. I'm the f devil. I'm the devil. These are the kids. <laughs> Oh yeah! Despite I'm not liking that he's turned evil again, it is badass. It's fantastic. Uh, oh! Ho, ho. Wait, so the one a minute ago, was that Jim? This was the previous day. He's killing again. And <laughs> the day before that. Ow! Yeah, that is! Wow, they look so much different with that hair. It's awesome though. Is it just me or was the wedding thing a bit over the line? A little bit, yeah. I don't know. I've never really been to a wedding before, so... Who's that? Someone new. He didn't even bat an eye when Ivan got killed. Takes bang on though, mm. right? Fabulous. I mean, buttercream isn't everyone's thing, though, is it? How are you handling all this so well? I hate that the other guy's not in it, though. Well, see, I have a system for dealing with all the terrible things I've seen. Must we see him again sometime soon? In my mind, and I put the things in the box. I lock it all away. I lock the box. Yeah. And then I don't open it again. Forget it. Looks like a charm. Oh. <laughs> yeah, right. Oh, bless him. You gonna, you gonna finish that cake? They're good people. They're not evil pirates, but now oh, they've killed loads of people. Wanted Blackbeard. They may as well draw horns on us here. He can't possibly look like this. He's been busy though, ain't he? I mean, it does kind of look like it. I've never seen one of these with writing on the back. Just blowing off some steam. They never used to. Susan! Hey, Sus. Look, Captain, you know we're never going to save enough to get the kind of ship you're after. Well, not with that attitude, we won't. Sue, if you thought that way, would you have this wonderful soup kiosk? Yeah, probably would. Yeah. Sue had tenacity and grit. I also killed someone and stole their kiosk. Sometimes ah. action is better than vision. See, that's <laughs> what I've been telling him. It's because you're the smart one. Well, we can't turn up with any old ship. Are you stalling because you think Blackbeard's going to murder you? What? No. No, why would he do that? Blackbeard wouldn't. Bad man. And you dumped him. I didn't dump him. Yeah, there is that. He did dump him. He dumped you. No, we're on a break. <laughs> <laughs> we were on a break! We were on a break! A break. Give me a break. Look, I don't care what any of you say. He's actually a good guy. Is he though? I'm gonna snap the head off because he thinks it looks like Steed. Or keep it to cry over. Did everyone get cake? Yeah, they got cake. They're welcome to have some rhino horn. That eye makeup looks awesome on the whole crew. <laughs> what was he doing? What, what, what did he. I thought he sniffed cake. Can't do the job. Someone else will. Hmm. Was well, is he having second thoughts? So we're gonna divvy this all up. No, we're gonna throw it overboard. We need to dump some to throw this treasury away so we can steal more. Definitely makes no sense. Not your place to tell me what does or does not make sense. It is your job to f to follow my f orders. He's struggling, isn't he? How are you doing, Izzy? I'm fine. I'm humble. Not very. Good. You, you really don't seem fine. Why is he struggling though? Unhealthy relationship with Blackbeard. Ah. Yeah, that is guy it? does a lot of rhino horn. He's cut off at least two more of your toes. Oh, more? It's all right. Shh. No. So was I right in the last, was it the last episode I mentioned, um, <laughs> that he kind of has a thing for Blackbeard and he likes him being mean to him, basically. Sadomasochism, is it? I don't want to alarm anyone, but have you seen the jar? Our savings jar. This jar right here? There's the jar. Jackie, that is our money. You know, I had y'all on the broke motherfucker plan. I think I'm going to upgrade you to the trifling ingrate plan. There's a lot of fees. A whole lot of fees. Room what? and board. Oh. Yeah, but you can't just take their money. The room with the window. <laughs> the cellar. Semi-clean water. Come on. Can you think of anything else, boo cakes? On that going job training and education. No. Oh, sweet. <laughs> Look like you owe me. Went back on him. Well, what if we took that back? Stole it. I think my husbands would have a problem with that. My husbands. 
Have you met all 20 of them? Wait, what? <laughs> That's a lot of husbands. Yeah. I know that guy. We had breakfast together. You'll be having <laughs> a lot of breakfasts together. Oh, okay. You know, a change of scenery could be good. You were stagnating there anyway. They're now trolls under a broken bridge. How am I supposed to cook here? At least we got a roof. Half a roof. Oh. Hide underneath it, yeah. Running water. Yeah, all the amenities. <laughs> Things are terrible. I think I'm afraid to see you. Oh, bless him. I'm not afraid you're gonna kill me. I'm afraid that your your life is better without me. Could be. <laughs> oh no. Oh no, is he gonna I start? I know who you are. Who's that? Jesus. So he's gonna start imagining Blackbeard. All of your adventures. I'm sorry if that's a little bit creepy. You are creepy. Is he a fan of? Whatever you're selling, I don't want to buy it. The Steed Bonnet adventures that the other guy was writing. The gentleman pirate, he saved my life. Quite frankly, you're my hero. Oh. Really? See, I too am a child of wealth. I'm actually a minor prince, and I was entertaining anything at all when I heard about you. You gave an odd bird like me hope, Bonnet, and I could have a life of my own. Lovely if it is true. I can't see it though. So he's not going to be like a thief or something. The Republic of Pirates isn't a game. You do well to see clear of this place, especially Spanish Jackies. I've been barred from there. Yeah, I was too nosy. <laughs> Made her a little remark about her Roman puzzle chest. She had it brought through the bar. They don't know what one is, but men of our standing, we know we're valuable when we see one. He's a thief, isn't he? Trying to get the, the Roman puzzle chest all... Jackie keeps the trunk at the foot of her bed. Valuables. She says it's of great value. How do we yeah. know we can trust you? Your husband number 20, after all. Come on, oh, that come is that hate. My time with Jackie <laughs> has been the happiest of my life. Her love has helped me locate parts of myself I didn't even know existed. No. That I had long missed. Oh. Oh. I owe you a life debt, and I am bound to honor it. That's a friend. Right, is that guy related to Reese Darby? I don't think he is, because I think he's British. I'm just thinking because he looks similar. Tonight is my turn to perform the husbandly duties, so... Lovely. Okay. One out of 20. The crew are refusing to part with any treasure. Not good enough. And that's another toe. No. Take your boot off. What the? Why is he taking his toe? Who am I to you? Yeah, he's taking out own revenge for Steed. Never been like that to him. You know me better than anyone has ever known me, and I dare say the same is true for me about you. He's treating him like a pet. I have love for you, Edward. Come on. I am worried about you. We all are. The atmosphere is completely poisoned. But if we could all just maybe... Be nicer. Talk it through. Yeah, like you used to do. As a crew. Yeah, like you used to. At no point did I want to channel the former owner of this vessel. Right, so I heard that you think the vibe here on the ship is poisonous. Care to elaborate? Start with you. Is the vibe here poisonous? Nope. Hmm? You? Don't want to get hurt, no. Poison? Fang. <laughs> I know we should ask. Oh, is Blackbeard. No, 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 no. You think the vibe on the ship is poison? I don't know, Blackbeard. A little bit toxic sometimes. Maybe it's a bit uncomfortable. You do make the crew a little bit uncomfortable sometimes. They think you're crazy. Well, I'm not crazy. You're talking to yourself. Leave Fuck it in! <laughs> Stop talking to yourself. The atmosphere on this ship is... It is pretty messed up. Everyone knows why. Steed is gone. Enlighten me. Your feelings for Steed. No! You ass! Congratulations, you're now first mate. Oh, I know. No? Yeah, don't take the job. You, are, mate. you can start by cleaning up that mess. I didn't expect him to do that to him. <gasps> Your back is really tight. <laughs> it's massage, isn't it? Don't stop. <laughs> Pop those hammies up. Okay. <laughs> How are you so good? Oh, be careful. I can hear it going clonk all of a sudden. Oh, who's meaning us at the docks? I can't believe how well this is going. What on earth's taking so long? You're supposed to be on lookout duty. You lookout? Now, this is where the action is. What are you doing? Stealing more stuff. A calling card. Yes, it is called a lime ricky. Bit of an ornate aperitif. But absolutely undeniable. You're insane. Yeah, he's weird, but I love it. <laughs> you see, this is where he went wrong with the whole gentleman pirate thing. And strange. Details like this are important to build a brand. So when people see this, they know that they have been robbed by the best. You've been ricked. Let's the just hope he doesn't make... No, oh, no, 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 no. You can hear the glasses. Oh, shh. Yeah. 
Well, at least he'll get caught, and not the others. Who are you? You robbed me? It's sweet. I'm a money prince. Guess I'm oh. gonna get a fancy oh, ass oh, nose for my jar. Oh, no. Oh, I like that set. Beautiful. Uh, why is your face blue? This is what we rest our lives for. Blue. Blue dirt! Powder? Oh, the Sendigo. It's the finest dye. It's worth a fortune. Oh, huh? Now give me back my blue sh Steve. Steed. Can't believe you guys robbed Jackie. Wow, so bad. Jackie, this is not what it looks like. Terrible at pretending. Depending on what you think it looks like. It looks like more noses for my jar. No, 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 no. They did it for the other guy. Oh, that's the, that's a suit, Susie? Susan? I see him. I'll buy it from you. Ain't you that soup, bitch? Oh, she's more than that. I'm the money, bitch. That enough? Nah, soup. It actually is not. How about double? Nah, still not. I want this lot as well. Oh, she's buying them out. Yes. All right. Sold. And the one that behind. Yeah, let's get no, 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 you as well. Come back please. here. Did you double cross me? <laughs> I... Yeah, you can go with them, please. It's okay, sexy Dutchman. Double cross is my jam. So you're not mad? No, oh, she's mad. No, it's kind of hot. <laughs> okay. We work it out at the house. Okay. Oh. No, no. I can't believe you paid that much for some blue dirt, Susan. No, she didn't. She paid it for them. This much indigo is worth three times what I paid. One thing I've learned in my time here. People know so little. Who are you? You work for her now. Let's go. Let's go. Brilliant. Now they've got another boss. She seems all right, though. Hurry up. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I've seen him happy at all this episode, apart from when he was breaking that guy's back. I can't stop crying. He shot Izzy. Want to hear the story of the wooden boy? Pinocchio. So once was this boy and... Wait, was it a puppet first? Yeah, it was a puppet first. Yeah, it was a puppet first. To be real, like a human. Or they wished on a monkey's paw. To, 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 to the voice. I was like a real boy. Man, oh man, do I wish I were a real person? <laughs> <laughs> Do some more. Aww. Oh wow! The monkey paw! I'm a real boy! Sounds more like Mickey Mouse to be fair, my one. <laughs> I pray to you, Dark Lord. I want to be a real flesh. I will make you the fleshy boy you desire. <laughs> oh wow! I'm starting to turn into flesh! It feels so soft! So what's the plan, Captain? Figured as first mate, I should be doing something. You know there's a bird that never touches ground. Please don't touch throw him overboard as well. Born in the air, it once lands, ends its entire existence in the sky. Is he saying that's him? Sounds like something that maybe actually can't exist, Captain. Yeah, but going back to land. Yeah. We're gonna sail, rob, raise hell forever and ever without end. No. You said on the beach you didn't want to do this life anymore. Sounds like a plan. Dismissed. They, they both know that it's because of Steed. He's got his little, little Steed. It does look like him a little bit, yeah. No, oh, Steed is a good man. Oh, that's really lovely done. Good night, vintage. We are return, my love. My ocean deep. <laughs> my ocean deep. Nevermore shall we be parted. Are we in soup? Oh, I'm totally down for that. I love soup. Sam. I love soup too. But you're not actually a soup seller, are you? Not exactly. So who are you then? She can be like, avert your eyes. You Ish. are in the presence of Jonisa, pirate queen. Jonisa, Shanisa. I was trying to pick up the name. Sound like Jean Isa. I'm gonna look it up in a second. Brilliant episode for the first one. Just it brings us so many different connections. Like the guy who was the the thief guy who didn't she take? She took the nose of him. That I said to you, I said he's gonna be a thief and. He was a thief. Yeah, and then we got this this girl here. I'm not gonna lie, I kind of like her character. I've realised that the majority of me saying this, I haven't even looked at you guys. I'm so sorry. I've been looking down there, and just sort of focusing on thoughts. <laughs> I tend to do that if I'm focusing on thoughts. Yeah, the mo the most of that episode was about building new connections, and you kind of get a little bit of a tie over from the previous one. And that beginning, that beginning was insane. Like I, I thought that was a dream because it was just too good. Like it just seemed too lovey-dovey and romantic and perfect. And it did turn out to be that it was fake and he was dreaming it, but I kind of wish it was like that. <laughs> really well done. I felt like the episode, I don't know what I thought about it. 
There was a lot that happened. It was a nice little setup for hopefully the rest of the series. It didn't feel like an episode one though. Okay, at the beginning of it, it felt like an episode one uh, and then reintroducing characters and stuff. But I think if you came into it probably at season two or in this episode, it might be a bit confusing starting this series and then going, wait, what's happened? But I suppose then they think, well, people would have watched the previous ones anyway. So it kind of makes sense then. In general, really lovely episode. The title Impossible Birds kind of makes sense now with the ending of what Ed was saying. I was kind of taking in what he was saying, but I was also trying to think about the story and the fact that that uh, guy, was it was it Lucius? About him coming back because he's not back and I presume he has just been killed off. Anyway, without further ado, let's watch episode two called Red Flags. All is calm. Not for long. Thinking about him, yeah. Oh. Look at that. You wear fine things well. <laughs> Run. <laughs> we both sighed at the same time. Run, my good wife. Oh. Run, <laughs> Is he dressed up the woman like him? With the beard. They're both so sad without each other. Go and get each other. Knock them both overboard. No. For your life. We both escape together. Morning time! What's all the noise? That is irritating. <laughs> it's the best night's sleep I've had in ages, if I'm honest. The sea is a medicine of the gods, eh? Certainly is. We all have a restful sleep. Yes, yes, yes. I did. Oh, excellent. They're all going, Ugh. People on the other side, her team are like, yes. The sea is restorative, isn't it? Yes, queen! <laughs> yes! Why are some people calling her queen? Because she's a queen? Uh, apparently she conquered some place called China. China? Let's say like China. Welcome your new crewmates aboard the red flag. I suppose they've not heard of the word China before, maybe? <laughs> Lovely to be here. Shame about the wake up. They're used to it. Yeah, they're used to it, I think. We have a specific way of doing things. Also, do they all sleep on the top deck like Focuses that? Focuses on unity, cohesion. To keep the fresh air. Historically, men have a harder time fitting in here. They're getting along very well. How should I put this? Your energy is... Tender? Mmm, we're tender as hell. Yeah. I, I was gonna say, um... Weak. Soft. Yeah, eat your soft. Soft is the perfect. There is one other man on board. Who? Red boy, come! <gasps> is it gonna be Lucius? Lost new queen. <laughs> yes! Yes! Oh. Lucius is alive! God. God. <laughs> oh my God! You got it! <laughs> I freaking love Lucius. I'm so glad he's alive. Well, they were together, weren't they, before he got chucked overboard? <laughs> Me and us so emotional. <laughs> I love that. I got you died. People always say women are. But <laughs> I know you got a beer. Do you hate it? I love it. Ah, it looks good. <laughs> I love all of it. He just loves him. Rat boy. What's that about? Oh, rat boy. It's like a lunar calendar. What exactly happened to you, Lucius? Yeah, with a rat. I was... Yeah, pushed over by him, but doesn't want to say. I fell off the ship. Of course that doesn't did. sound like you. You have impeccable balance, babe. The moustache makes him look like that. Towels. You go with Red Boy. Towels? What, what is this? Are these jobs? What's happening? Well, I clean up the towels. Sea Witch, I have looked for you. What? Far and wide. But then you probably know that. What? Best not assume we know anything at all, ma'am. <laughs> it's like, I have no idea what you're talking about. Oh, wait for me. I'm off. Aye, aye, ma'am. Is he just playing along with it? Captain. Captain. He's hiding again. Captain. Oh. Hey! Yeah. There he is. There I am. You're looking chipper. You're like a million bucks, actually. Wasn't really hiding, but yeah. I had a very rough night last night. <laughs> mm. But I think I got all the poison out of my system. No more booze. And more importantly, no more is he? Nope. Nope. You did kill him, didn't you? Certainly did. Ages ago. Good. Thank you. It's a nasty business, I know. But that's the code of the sea. So is this he? The new first mate always kills the old first mate. He's not killed him, has he? Trust is so important. Oh, yeah. Trust important. Trust is king and queen. Mm. Trust is everything. Yeah. Mm. But he didn't kill Izzy, I don't think. Well, better go and do the rounds, make sure everything's ship shape. Hey, Frenchie. Yes, Captain. I expect great things from you. 
This is where he's got Izzy hit away. Yeah. Kill me, you f God! Lord above, he smells something terrible. Yeah, his, his leg's rotting. Oh, no. He needs to be cut off. Start with his legs, see where it goes. I love Jim's look like that. I've never done this before. Which one? Oh, definitely the f***ed up one. I think that was all right. I'm not a f***ing idiot. Which one? Oh, oh. Um, dealer's choice. Oh, no. Go on. Uh, oh, no. All right. All right. And of course, we haven't seen each other in ages. I know, it's terrible. So I'm using this long list of crimes and dramatic upsets, triangulate where he's most to likely to navigate be. Navigate him. Oh, hang on. He might be in Cuba. Might be, but... Give us the room. Why? Is that Cuba? It's so hard to tell. I mean, I've drawn it myself. Oh, is he going to tell him about him? They drew him to look like a ghoul. No, that's how he looks now. Are you even going to ask how I am? How are you? You. That's how I am. What? What's gotten into you? Oh, because he never came after him. I didn't fall off the revenge. He pushed me. Ed pushed you? Yeah. Why would he do that? You broke him when you left, and then he broke me. Your fault. That's why he's annoyed at him. Right, okay, but it's inadvertently his fault. Oh, yeah, now you can. He's got a point. Nobody asked about him. Nobody really said much about him, did they? I know they were kind of under the thumb of Blackbeard. I see you've adopted the form of a humble man, Sea Witch. I'm so confused. Why does she... I have an offering for you. A spell book. And theory anthropy. The ability to transmogrify betwixt human and non human creature. Take it, foul demon. Use it wisely. Bless our travels. Why does she believe that he's the sea witch? Oh, I. Oh, I. Oh, Lord above. Oh, God. Was someone injured? Oh, God, no. No, just something. He's onto it. He knows. Get, get, get in case of anything. Quick question. Fire away, not literally. Which put the body? How'd you kill Lizzie? Yeah. Slit his throat. Classic. <laughs> You're left handed, aren't you? Mm. You just used your right. Did I? Mm. Just got mixed up. Could have just been a bit of panto for the cabs in. Grab it! He had it in one hand and he was. Do you think I wouldn't know the smell of my rotting former first mate? How? Uh, what? How the heck did he. Done and dusted. <gasps> Damn, he knows the smell of the rotting as well. <laughs> we did? Uh, he'll wear. Yeah. 50-50, I reckon. I love that they've shoved it up the nose as well. Yeah, he's very, um, still. He's hopefully just passed out. Look at the leg there, oh. There's a time when life meant something on this ship. Oh. When we live for each other. Time when it was all... Guess you never know when you're in the middle of the good old days. Until you're not. I thought they were liking each other. I wasn't... What was that for? Oh. Do you have hope? It's cute. Oh, plus I I really like that story that you told about the wooden demon boy that thirsted for life. Oh, what? Pinocchio? I'm a real boy! Oh, 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 what have we got here? Hey, no one told me this room existed. Hmm, of course. Keeping Izzy hidden. He was your friend. Yeah, he was. I mean, I'm hoping he still is. I just see the leg going up the stairs. I'm hoping he becomes like a human again. Nicer. I know what you're doing. I just need someone to clean my office and do some filing. I don't need this kind of distraction. He doesn't even know what filing is. Of course he does. How are you filing those? By weight. Oh, I'm kind of sorting them by weight. Uh, I could <laughs> do it by width. If That's why he was doing that. I could even open it up. The main thing is off the floor. You're doing great. Thanks. I don't think he is. <laughs> What's your system? Chuck it all in there. You wouldn't ahead of its time. No, oh, yeah, of course it was. Or was it alphabetical order? What have you done? Yeah, I thought I tidied it up a bit. You know, the little no. ships were all over the place. And oh, no. Messes. That was the area of where the ships were on the real ocean. Particular coordinate and move daily based on the current weather patterns and wind speed. Oh, sugar. Let me fix it because I remember... Fuck! You won't know where any of them were, will you? I, mean, I thought I did it in the right colours and stuff. It's so weird, though, going from the inside, because the, the grading is so much different out here. I didn't realise their clothes were that colour. I forgot, because I know we saw it earlier, but... I mean, you conquered China. 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 China, 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 China. <laughs> Not China. Can't file to save your life. I'm pretty sure you broke the abacus. But you're calm and you're smart. I actually... Does she like him? I really liked it when you would visit the soup stand. Oh. Did you? I mean, it was work, but... When you showed up, it, it wasn't. Oh no, Jim likes him. What did? You were kind of the break in my day. <laughs> uh, Soap. Oh, it's broth. Complicated, balanced. It might be the best thing I've ever had. We eat. But how often do we Life taste? God. 
Bots. Yeah, the broth's pretty wild. So wild. It's insane. Jesus Christ, Steve, keep your pants on. <laughs> <laughs> you smoke now? You, you do, yeah. Because of stress? You don't know if you pack top smoking. Hmm. I used to chew the old tobacco leaf when I was young and edgy. Is he okay? Look at his beard, Mr. Cool. I and mean, he's been through stuff, so... Isn't this the best ship you've ever been on? Being captained by Zheng, it really makes the... Pathetic, incompetent captain stand out. Ooh. Ooh. He really has a thing for hi about him, doesn't he? My spicy little rat boy. Never f call me that! Jesus. Sorry. All right. I don't know whether... Calm down. I'm going to go fix something in towels. I think he's pent up a lot of anger and emotions about something, but... What the hell is going on in towels? <sighs> oh, my leg. Oh, no, that's gone now. I've been leg heaven. Hmm. You come to say the other one? I think one's quite enough. I just popped down to say a proper goodbye. It's because of you. What? No. Don't bloody kill him. I had a dream about you last night. He's not going to kill him, is he? Or that he kills him. Hold it. Ah! Hold it. Or do it to himself. I dreamed that you killed me. You shot me right through the skull. I mean, he's got kind of every... Good for you. Mm, don't, don't. It's just what the doctor ordered. Now, in my dream, I was standing just like this. And he goes to that and misses him completely. Oh, God. <laughs> God too easy, I suppose. Oh, you're scared. Too scared to do it yourself, eh? <laughs> so awkward, but... Go on, clean up your own mess. I'm not doing it. I've been doing it all my life. He's got a point. He has been since he's been working with him, so... Farewell, old chum. Can't no, please don't just leave Izzy like that. <gasps> no! No! I loved you. No! Best of good. No! I loved Izzy. Do you want to do this here or down at the bottom of the ship? He was brilliant. You were in such a treacherous did, liar. Did he do it or did he just fake shooting himself? I wouldn't have had closure with Izzy, so I thank you for that. You're welcome. You're welcome. Take the day off, brother. Go live. Jesus. Sure you don't want me to do any steering? Do me good to be at the wheel for a bit. Frying the hell out of me, that did. Clear my head. Mm. Yeah, we, we, I thought it was going to whim it over to the... Make him fall overboard. Sail into the storm. Not a good idea. Well, oh, Steve Bonnet's giving me relationship advice. <laughs> because he's older than you and he knows more. Hurt Ed so much he pushed you off the ship. Sounds like you're quite the f*** up, pal. The whole rat boy, was he maybe like, trapped in a in a crate with rats or something? If I start, I don't know what's going to come out. Look, if you're afraid inside, that's okay. But I'm not. Just hit me with it. One mm. doesn't just survive at sea. One has to do things. Ooh. Horrible things. Okay. Yeah, I know, I know. I passed from ship to ship, and one of them had this rat terrier. A pretty good friend, you know. Oh, that's nice. Dogs are nice. They ate him! Oh, no! Yeah. What? F***ing ate him. What? what? For a laugh, and then I had to catch the rats with my teeth. They were weirdly finicky about the Oh. Jesus. God, you're not going to believe you it. You know what? Save the rest for Peter. <laughs> Was this game called the human puppet? Save it! Steve, the hand went where you think. Oh! Right. Oh. I told you about the little man who died in my lap. He wasn't even a child. He was just a very small man. Oh. Okay, when I said that he was pending up a lot of emotions, he's been through so much. Do we think he's bitter? No. He seemed pretty calm to me. Yeah, out on the, uh, yeah, out on the top deck in the middle of the rain. We're sailing into a storm, boss. Yeah! Don't hold it by the cannon opening. Oh! Wait, he's got rid of the wheel? Oh, frickin' hell. Well, that's the Caribbean for you, isn't it? Great. He's gone insane. Maybe, maybe not. Elephant fire one into the mass. No, don't. I want you to fight her to the death. Why? No. He's going to hold that and it's going to hit the rope in a minute. No. What? <laughs> what the? So I mean, if they are going to, the, the, the newer girl probably isn't going to survive because we don't really know her. I talked to Pete. Told him what happened. Please tell me you held back on some of the darker stuff. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> Thank God. I didn't want to take him too far too fast. Probably best. You should take a close look at those. Pass the clues to finding the man you love. Look at the horrible list of crimes he's committed. You know? I think I heard him pretty bad. Maybe the time he spent with you is the best it's ever going to get for him. I think it was the best. I'm not ready to believe that. No, it was. Some people are just broken, no matter what you do. They, those two were 
the best thing for each other. No. It's just life. Just hold them all back. No, my life. They like each other, don't they? That's too bad. So, you were gonna do it anyway. How else? See. I'm hoping something happens like that. Massive bloody wave. Are they gonna survive? Oh no, she's being swept out anyway. No! Jeez. I was gonna say no and then it happened. And it's... Oh no, it didn't go through it. Oh, I was right. Yes, he didn't. So who did he just shoot a second ago? Did he just fire a warning shot? You indestructible little f He's not dead. New today. I feel like this is a this is something historical about this bit. Like the, the thing on the map and that. Was this a th I know this happened for real, like she was a great pirate, but Oh no! Set a light downstairs, I think. It's all fire, so... No! Oh. oh, it's not. It's just lights. No, oh, no, no, don't! <gasps> no! Jesus, I can't take any more! The jump scares. You had the people coming back who you thought had died. Then you also had that bit at the end. Such a good episode. So many different twists and turns to what I thought there was going to be. Like, I just assumed it was a nice little carry-on from the previous one. Maybe they'll see each other and meet again or whatever. Didn't think any of that with uh, Izzy's leg was going to happen. I'm so glad that he's okay. What did you think to those two episodes? First two back and it's gone from being a balmy hilarious show and it still is, but now it's a bit more gritty, gruesome and in your face. I don't really know specific wording. It is still that balmy, wacky show though, but it's almost got this veil now of a darker humour, which was kind of there anyway, but it's now there a lot more. Hello guys, welcome back. <laughs> I hope you really enjoyed those two episodes of me watching Our Flag Means Death Season 2. Really enjoyed the first two and I've honestly really enjoyed watching the entire Season 2. It's been a fantastic ride, but obviously you guys have yet to see that. Can check out the full reactions of me watching the entire Season 2 over on Patreon if you would love to. When it came to the end of Season 2, I kind of knew that they'd wrapped up very well with Season 2. And I know it's kind of pointless me putting this here on Episode 1 and 2's reaction about me saying, oh, it's the cancellation of season two, blah, blah, blah. I should have done that at the end. But I thought, well, it's kind of relevant at the moment. I really wanted to talk about it. Leave your comments below. Let me know what you think about the cancellation. I just don't understand why they decided to cancel it. I thought, well, maybe it was the viewing figures or whatever. But no, there's so many fans that love this show. It supports so many communities and it's just a really well written and performed show and the cast have done an absolutely stellar job. The effects of, you know, the, the scenery and all this kind of stuff, and the set work is stunning. So I don't understand where it falls short. I don't understand how they can still put the money up for shows that are just not very good or there's a lot of reality stuff that goes up i mean i don't know too many shows that are on hbo max or max as it's now called why they changed that name i don't know i know of some obviously i know the last of us maybe because season two i think of uh, the last of us is being filmed where they kind of wanted to put the money into big shows like that and other shows that they're making but it just seems to me that they're cancelling the really good shows the ones that fans really love it was greenlit this is what i don't understand but then higher ups or something had just axed the show and i don't specifically know too much info about it so i know this kind of feels a bit empty probably from all of the details and you guys might be here for the details I don't know too much about those, but it's just me wanting to say my emotional thoughts about the show being axed. I, like many other Our Flag Means Death fans, didn't find out through official sources. I didn't see anything official about this. I heard through fans and I didn't even see it on Twitter. I didn't, or X, I didn't see it on there. I didn't see it in news articles. I heard about it 
from some of you guys over on Patreon. <laughs> Someone mentioned it to me. What do you think about, you know, the cancellation of these? I went, wait, what? So I went onto Twitter and I checked it there and fans were talking about it and I was just, huh? It's just so weird. I'm, it's so strange because I'm still coming to terms with it. I mean, thankfully I was able to do my original plan, which was the end of 2023, I was going to be posting up my season one episodes and then going into season two would be the start of the new year. New year, new season, fantastic. But I thought we would then be graced with the news of season threes here, which we were. I saw videos of, I think it was a table reading or something of the third season. Uh, there was a video someone shot at the table um, and the camera was kind of panning around the table. You can see Taika Petiti there and Reese Darby. And I was really hoping and really just eager to see even more from the crew. I'm just absolutely gutted. Gutted is, that's not even the word for it. When I heard the news, I just kind of sat in silence for a bit. So I didn't really know what to think. I know I wanted to put out the first two episodes. Then I was like, but I've already recorded it. And I know that in the, quite a few of the episodes, I do mention season three coming at the end of season two i think i mentioned season two potentially not being renewed what if it's not renewed i'm hoping it is because it kind of sets out for it but if it's not renewed then at least this is a nice little round off and i know that's kind of what everybody thinks i had such a high hope it just it just felt like it was going to be renewed i would be so interested to find out why and if there was a reason behind it was it maybe they thought that oh the storyline isn't going to be as good because now ed and steed are in a good place and i can't say too much in case you guys are watching along the show with me and uh, like you've seen these two episodes and that's it and you haven't seen any others yet so i don't want to spoil anything for you that i got very emotional very very emotional at the very last episode and throughout it as well there's a there's a couple of ups and downs in the in the episodes but you'll see what i mean if you've seen it you know if you haven't seen it then just wait grab the box of tissues because it is very very emotional i did mention at the beginning uh, about renew as a crew go and check that out in the description below there's a website they are doing an incredible job they are very very supportive and they are trying their best to maybe get a reverted decision on the cancellation and there's a petition i have signed it myself the petition is now over 50,000 signatures and they've reset the goal to 75,000 signatures please go and sign it if you'd love to and hopefully we can do some kind of justice uh yeah there's so many shows that have been cancelled and i just don't understand why incredibly good shows very well written and there's a really big fan base behind them and this show specifically catered a lot to different communities and supported them like no other show that I've ever seen. And I know Doctor Who is kind of becoming a bit like that. They're trying to cater to things a little bit more and trying to represent people a bit more. And that's fantastic. And apparently, and I've been told this by a number of you guys, and I am going to watch the show at some point on the channel. Uh, and that's Good Omens. Apparently Good Omens does the same thing and it's uh, very supportive for a lot of communities and it's an incredibly good show. I am now going to just quickly look up about season three, about the, the reason for the cancellation in case someone has said something online. I don't know. I'm reading it from Pink Villa. This is just a website that came up when I typed in about the reason for the cancellation. It says, in an unexpected change of events, Max Streaming Service has opted to not release the third season of the popular pirate comedy Our Flag Means Death. The decision comes after two great seasons of happy, humorous and poignant storytelling that captivated fans as per Variety. I think they mean the website Variety, not as in the variety of the show. While Max will not be moving forward with the third season of Our Flag Means Death, this is what a Max spokesperson has said. We are so proud of the joyous, hilarious and heartfelt stories that created David Jenkins, Taika Waititi, Reese Darby and the entire superb cast and crew brought to life. The cancellation brings to an end a hilarious trip that began in March 2022. I didn't realise it started in March 2022. I was told about the show. It must have been in 2022. I was told about the show. No, it must have been after that because I didn't start this channel until a little while after that. But I started the channel and not too long into it, I actually had 
a Patreon request for the show and I had no idea what it was about. I watched the trailer and I fell in love with it from the trailer and I went, this looks awesome. Started watching it and immediately I had Monty Python kind of comedy just feelings about the show and I was like, it's Monty Pirates. And and my love for it just grew from there. Was it October 2023? My God, yeah, because I think season two, so I was so lucky with this. Uh, I Season two was announced. At that point, I'd already, so I started watching Our Flag Means Death months ago, like near the beginning of the year kind of thing. But it took me a while to put the episodes out. Or am I thinking of The Last of Us when I did those? I don't know, I watched them at some point and I had them done as sort of uncut episodes on Patreon for a while and I just never got around to doing them because I was taking a while and I had a move at that point, that house move. And when I eventually got around to doing it, um, they were, I think they were just about to announce that season two was coming um, and a trailer was posted up whilst I was editing one of those episodes. And I was so lucky that they then released season two as I got to the end of watching season one. And I was able to literally just jump straight from one into the next. And I had so many people message me and say, you're so lucky to not have any kind of weight and just be able to hop straight from one season into the next. And I was incredibly lucky with that. And I am very thankful to one people requesting the show to loving the videos that i've been putting out in regards to it and i've gained so many members of the community here on the channel on patreon i try and stay away from any bit of news so anything about like the kisses or the just you know the romance in general or the just certain things within the show i didn't know a thing and even going into season two i was i didn't want to be spoiled about anything so i stayed away from almost every bit of news and I, I spotted little bits and bobs every now and then uh, from comments on Twitter and stuff whilst I was posting about you know the other videos I was putting out and because I do follow a lot of people to do with our flag of means death over on Twitter I, I didn't catch anything spoilery thank god um, but then when I got to watch the episodes I was so glad that I I didn't have any spoilers. I'm just gutted. That's it. Apart from editing the, the videos together, I've I've watched them all. Now I can't do... Like, if I knew that there wasn't going to be a season three, I wouldn't have watched them all so quickly. I mean, I would have to put them out, if that makes sense, but I would have just ruminated in the, the, the wonder of each episode and watched each one with a bit of a gap in between and thought about it a bit more. Whereas now I've seen them all. But yeah, this this website says um, followed by a second season in October 2023. The show, which largely inspired, uh, was largely inspired by the real life of escapades of 18th century pirate Steve Bonnet, which thanks to you guys, I realized during while I was editing it that they were real people. And I didn't know that they were real people. Uh, like They were characters inspired upon real people. So thank you for that. And it's captivated audiences and this doesn't really, unless I can read down this, this is a David Jenkins post. David Jenkins says, well, I've got good news and bad news. The good news, we spent two seasons in a bizarre, beautifully rendered world populated by some of the world's greatest, sorry, some of the greatest actors and creatives working. And the second season was made possible by the enthusiasm of one of the most likable fan communities in the history of this medium and you guys are absolutely fantastic your voice has made a difference your art made a difference your viewership made a difference in securing more of our flag getting to share this show with you and watching you make it yours has been a dream come true the bad news is clear our flag won't be returning for a third season we've sailed at the pleasure of the fine people at max and it brought them no joy to see this journey come to a premature end. Casey Bloys, Sarah Aubrey, Susanna Makos, Billy Wee and David Ruby have been incredible champions of this show. They allowed us to make something authentically weird and heartfelt, cheering us on the entire way. I'm very sad I won't set foot on the revenge again with my friends, some of whom have become close to family, but I couldn't be more grateful for being allowed to captain the damn thing in the first place. Our flag means us, loving one another, pulling off some pretty weird and beautiful and taking it through 
as a crew. And this, uh, the, the, some of the comments is like devastated. I'm sobbing. Can't believe it. I'm in a ball and I'm crying. I'm so upset. Heartbreaking. Absolutely heartbreaking that it's my voice is going trying to say it. But it's absolutely heartbreaking. Yeah. So it just seems that someone somewhere said, do you know what? It's had its time. The story panned out really well in season two. That's it. Because that's kind of what I take away from it, that maybe that's what they thought. That season one, you know, was the intro of the, of the characters and the story. Season two was their, their arc and then coming to a stop as they did. I can't say too much in case you've not seen the rest of the episodes. But then maybe they thought, you know what? That's it. That's, that, that's all they need in the show. But if they knew the kind of arc that I think it was David Jenkins had said at some point, someone had said at some point that the arc was meant to be, I think I mentioned this in a previous video as to what the arc actually was. Here we go. So Korea David Jenkins had already teased the significance of the R Flag Means Death season three story of the show, and it would have been the final chapter in Steve Bonnet and Blackbeard's story. Though there's still a lot of mystery around what the third installment of the show was supposed to bring, the likelihood of the story continuing is low because of HBO, etc. There was more of a story though that I read. Either way, it was going to be, you know, rounding off their characters and what happens to the crew etc i really like the ending of this pink filler article um uh, well, who wrote this sakina korkawala beautiful writing for the end of this article the lowering so this is this is what she said about the the legacy of our flag means death despite the cancellation the show left a legacy of fun adventure and a unique perspective of the pirate theme fans who embrace the show and developed a beautiful welcoming community around it will definitely treasure the memories produced by steed blackbeard and the rest of the team the lowering of the sails of Our Flag Means Death is a painful farewell to a comedy that dared to explore the high seas of love and friendship among the turmoil of pirate life. The spirit of Steve Bonnet and Captain Blackbeard will live on in the hearts of fans, making this cancellation a fitting finale to a thrilling story. Yeah, it's a really lovely way to end that article. So in regards to the season three cancellation, um, I know I mentioned to you at the beginning of the video and I've said it a couple of times that there is this thing called Renew as a Crew. And there's a website that you can go and check out. Um, and the reason I bring this up is because I've reached out to these guys and asked, can I mention this? Because I think it's really important that we can try and support the the cast and the crew and us fans in general and try and do something and this is a fan led off like means death uh, renewal campaign by the way in case you were wondering uh it's renew as a crew.com and there's the websites there you can donate to them if you'd like to but you can just sign the petition if you'd like as well and i'm going to link everything below all their details like social media details and the petition details in the description below if you want to check those out. On the Renew as a Crew website, it says why we're taking action. And it says in today's rapidly changing world of streaming content, where even immensely popular shows can face abrupt cancellations, we are dedicated to securing the renewal of Our Flag Means Death for its third and final season, which it should be. There should be this one more last hurrah, Sail of the Seas, perfect. Anyway, it then goes on to say series creator David Jenkins has emphasized the need for three seasons to fully realize his storyline. And with an organized and united front, we stand ready to champion his vision. Yet our goal extends beyond concluding story arcs and providing a final bow to the cast and crew. It's also about honoring the loyal fans and subscribers by ensuring they receive a satisfying conclusion to a series that has profoundly impacted us all and that one thing they've done uh, which i think is absolutely fantastic is they have come together as a team they've just done something absolutely amazing um so as i'm recording this uh i completely forgot they were doing this i saw a post saying about hoist the ads hashtag hoist the ads and it was to make a times square billboard which is located above the pele store uh, between 46th and 47th Street. It's currently set for a 24-hour run on January the 19th, featuring three appearances per hour. With our new budget, we are actively in the process of expanding the number of appearances and dates. Um, so, set for a 24-hour run on January the 19th, but the picture is there already, and it's, as recording this, it's January the 15th. 
unless that is photoshopped in maybe it is I d i'm very confused <laughs> so maybe it's until it just says 24 hour run on january the 19th so maybe this is just like a one time only for the for the time being until they get that put up more but yeah please go and support them they're doing fantastically um, I've been trying to support them as much as possible. There's Our oh, Flag Means Death is trending at the moment. Um, and there seems to be a lot of love for it at the moment. And let's hope it makes some kind of difference. Yeah, you can also um, support them at hashtag save OFMD. They mentioned about people sending letters to David and Casey. So share why you love OFMD and request a season three. But include a red square of fabric if you can. Please be polite or it will hurt our chances. I absolutely love this. Write a physical letter, not just an email. Because I wrote an email to HBO uh, or to HBO Max. And the, the, the reply I got back was really weird. Um, but they've done the same thing. But they, they're physically writing letters to them. I mean, my letter that I sent them said, To whom you may concern... I just heard the news about the cancellation of the third season of Our Flag Means Death and I beg you, please don't cancel it. There are so many loyal fans who adore it and I'm one of them. It is also a show that supports so many different communities in many ways and strides so far forward against the sea of otherwise, there was a pun there with the sea thing, of otherwise not so overwhelmingly supportive other shows or franchises. I cannot believe it was said to be greenlit, rightfully so, and then scrapped suddenly with no warning, which shocked a lot of people in the industry and fans alike. Please can there be consideration to revert the cancellation and look at going forward with a third season. It would mean the world to fans everywhere and I know it would continue to take huge steps for communities and is otherwise a monumental loss for HBO Max or Max and your audience. It would be an incredible disservice to cancel it altogether. I hope to hear back soon on this. Thank you very much. Kind regards, Marty. The reply I got from that was just such a generic and strange email that kind of made me think, wait, it, it, it's definitely cancelled, right? <laughs> and I was like, wait, huh? So loads of other people had, they had different replies from different people but my one was from someone named Nawaz. I said hi Marty I'm Nawaz a customer advocate on the Mac support team thank you for taking your valuable time and sending an email to us I can see that you have requested for our flag means death season three to be streamed on Max. your feedback is valuable and we appreciate your interest in Max. your feedback is never gone unseen I will surely make sure to have this documented in our case notes also I will be sharing a feedback form wherein you can share feedback to us, blah, 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 blah. But the bit that got me was when it says, I see that you have requested for our flag means death season three to be streamed on Max. It can't be streamed on Max. It was never made in the first place. So I just made the comment uh, when I posted a tweet out about it and said, I don't think Noaz knows, but thanks for the reply anyway. <laughs> I just can't believe they cancelled it. The final season that was meant to round things off, but they kind of did with the end of season two. Um, if you've not seen it, I hope you really enjoy the show and, you know, all of the, the wonderfulness that goes with it. I hope you really enjoyed this video anyway. And uh, that's me watching episodes one and two. Three and four will be coming soon. So I hope you can enjoy that when it comes out. And if you do want to, you know, stick around and uh, enjoy some more videos from me, you can do. And if you'd like this video, then consider clicking the like button and subscribe to the channel to catch more of those videos coming up very soon. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day and I hope you can have a, an incredible, I hope you're having a wonderful new year so far as well. It's crazy to me that it's 2024 and it's flown by. Also, one last thing is if you do want to support Our Flag Means Death, renew as a crew, the cast, the crew of the show itself and us loyal fans, then you can go down into the description below, sign the petition to hopefully get some kind of resolution to a season three potentially uh, and just support everybody in general and all of the social media links are down there for both Renew as a crew and myself obviously as well and if you want to see any uncuts that I've done for the other episodes you can check them out over on the Patreon page and also all of my season one stuff if you're new here uh, is up on the channel already more to come soon now as we know many of the R Flag Means Death fans are inspirational and creative well with that being said one of the amazing fans 
who is actually one of my Patreon members as well, messaged me and said about a poem that she created and mentioned that there was a video done of it by Rin Decision with the voiceover of In Need of Donuts. And whilst we were going to play a little bit of that, and I will be putting the original in the description below if you want to check that out, I didn't feel it was right to take their video and put it into my video, so we thought, hang on, why don't we just make our own version? This is something a little bit different to what I normally do, but I thought it'd be really cool to add in. So here is my version of La Belle Homme Sans Merci, written by Tess Avaland. Alone in anguish, lost adrift, a kraken king without a crown, black tears and poison rum I drink, and slowly drown. This painted face a mask, a bruise, a blade half hid in shadowed hair. My eyes flash danger, madness, rage, but hide despair. I sought a man upon the seas, peculiar, gentle, fierce and soft, who sailed his pretty ship with pride, four flags aloft. He took my leathers, gave me lace, we kindled flame for mirror light, and saved our men and saved ourselves that shining night. He fed me seven sugared tea, bright marmalade on mornings fine, in evenings flame lit crystal shone, our brandy wine. Red rose upon my violet breast, he made to mend my tattered pride. I dared not kiss him, turned away, looked back and sighed. When I confessed to dreadful things, kind vigil by my side he kept. I laid my head against his hand, and there I wept. False friends betrayed us and conspired with those who hunted down my mate. I made my choice to share with him his unknown fate. For love of him I thrice laid down my life, my freedom, all my fame. Shorn clean of legend, I embraced my simple name. I made him happy, said my love. I kissed and held him by the sea. His eyes were strange, but thrice he said he'd come with me. But night crept by, and all my hopes, like blighted flowers, curled and died. I did not sleep, but woke from dreams by the grey sea's side. And that is why I left the land, my darksome flag's red heart to bleed. Dim rose and violet morning came, but not my steed. I hope you guys really enjoyed that. That was something a little bit different to normal. A huge thank you to Tess for allowing me to read the poem and for giving me permission to put it into the video as well. And again, a huge thank you to the original creators who did the original voiceover and the original video as well. Take care, guys. Stay safe. And I'll see you very, very soon. Because this is Our Flag Means Death. Then, uh, yar. <laughs> If you're still here to the very end, then thank you so much, and also a huge thank you to my wonderful patrons. Roger C. Griffith, Douglas Collier, Terry V, Miggy Love, Chris Holmes, Jojo, Thomas Masters, Shoehorn1234, Ress, Patrick Durr, Andrew Blount, Carlos, Marla Mize, Rob, Chandra Blair, Scott, Paul Zawicki, Randy, Kirsten, Juan Pablo Camero, JL, Maggie, Freya Alexandra, Milo, Miranda, Edna, Gina Aman, Tess Avaland, Olivia, Maria Stoicheva, Nasesno, Megan Janoviak, Rainy Tomo, Strawberry Tree, Kirsten Bailey, Boobly Boo, Louise Vanderhoven, Aubrey Terry, Rathist, Heidi Steele, City D, Bumblebee, Joshua, Jesse, Rena Burra, Meat, Lolita Verbakovskia, Eli, Holly Jeffries, Alenka Hafner, HM Garth, Chloe Grover, Neb, Kyle Baker, Abby Barker, Tom Tattershall, Kristen Olds, Tilly Chum, Laura Hutchison, Tara M. Will Coxon, and Sazzy Nation. If you'd like to see more videos, there's some more on the screen right now. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and see you next time.